Good evening. A Bernalillo County District Attorney, Raul Torres, has been vocal about his prosecutors targeting the Metro's worst criminals who are responsible for the most crime. Now the DA's office says it has landed a major grant to help build the computer system that will help them identify those criminals. News 13's Chris McKee is live at the DA's office downtown. Chris. Yeah, Dean and Jess, the DA's office just got a half million dollars to build a cutting edge database that will track homicide, robbery and auto theft suspects and potentially expose those suspects criminal network. And you can see how quickly it's classifying and separating the data. This is what a computer program looks like as it searches and sorts through 1,000, then 10,000 different VIN numbers of cars that were all connected to crimes in Bernalillo County. The very interesting parts are where there are connections across types. Those connections are links in criminal cases, only discovered through high-powered computing. Perhaps that vehicle was used in multiple crimes or defendants, seeing the connections between defendants. It's this cutting edge technology that the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office now says it will use to help prosecutors research and target Albuquerque's most prolific criminals. Getting that complete picture helps us understand who we're dealing with. Policy Chief Adolfo Mendez says the DA's office just got a half million dollars from the feds to build what they call a criminal data hub or a computer system that can download millions of criminal records across dozens of different local, state and federal databases. Right now the process is manual. We access each of these databases manually going from one to the next in order to try to get a complete picture. New Mexico Tech built the technology that automatically sorted all those VIN numbers. They're now building out the DA's data hub. So instead of combing through hundreds of thousands of records over months and years, they can comb through hundreds of thousands of records in seconds. And those types of quick, comprehensive record searches should essentially make it a lot easier for prosecutors to identify who is causing the most crime and make prosecuting those cases a priority. The DA's office is hoping to have a version of this database up by the end of the year. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Chris. The DA's office says its eventual goal is to build out that database so that other New Mexico district attorney's offices can also use it.